All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, uh, who is the Most High, as well as His Son, Yahweh Shai. Uh, double honors unto the apostles and elders of uh, Great Millstone, who uh, rule and, and, and keep the flock. Uh, Shalom unto you, Akim, also, who go out throughout the four corners of this earth, earth pushing this truth in all sincerity. Shalom to you. You know, just another day to do a video against this damn devil, Esau Edom, so called white man. Uh, hope when wake up, uh, hopefully, wake up some uh, hopeful elect, which is you Negroes, uh, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians. You are actually the chosen uh, people of the Bible, known as the Israelites, right? Whether you believe it or not, whether you accept it or not, that is the case. All right, so I'm gonna get right to it. This is a video by uh, RT called Mystery Oil Spill Hits uh, 130 Beaches Across Northeast Brazil. Right, because this devil's tearing up our planet. All right, I'm just doing this raw. So, Lord willing, you can see the screen and everything perfectly. It's a lot cute. Look at how much oil that is, man. And that's just on one beach. That's across 130 beaches in Brazil. Right? Imagine if all 130 beaches had that much oil. How much oil that would be. This is craziness, man. This devil's got to go. The Lord's going to eradicate him out of the, uh, the earth. And that's a good thing, man. Hey, there's one four four in that next video. Let's start. But yeah, just uh, wanted to show that real quick, um, just as a, uh, just to show you the uh, atrocities that Esau Edom has committed all over the planet, right? All over the planet Earth. It's still going on everywhere, right? And it's not stopping, but the Most High is not with that program. The Most High has a different program. Right, he wants his the elect of the elect of Israel, right, one hundred forty four thousand Israelites. You know, he wants to deliver them out of this this turmoil that they're in, away from the hands of this devil, right. But he's waiting for an appointed time, right. He's waiting for this devil to go all the way off with his with his nonsense. So, you know, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get in right into the scripture. This is Revelation 11 and 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of uh, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged. All right, and that's that's the uh, the living dead. That's the uh, the dead of Israel, right? The two thirds, and these other heathen nations, right? And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets. Right. And who's the prophets of the Lord? Those that do the will, you know, those that go out into the highways and the byways and uh, call out this devil for the atrocities that he commits all over the place. Right. So, you know, with that, you know, he's uh, delivering 12,000 out of each tribe, you know, that are uh, are going to be rulers in the kingdom of heaven, you know, a joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. And uh, man, it's going to be a glorious, glorious day. Uh, reading on and uh, and to the saints uh, and them that fear thy name and we fear you how about Shemi Shai's name you know in in that day when the Lord comes back people are going to tremble at that name they won't be able to stand when they hear that name their knees will get weak and they'll pass out and faint because they're going to know the power of Yahweh about Shemi Shai when uh, Yahweh sends his son Yahweh Shai back to judge this place and to judge the dead man the ones that aren't written in the book you know that are, are have either have been written out of the book of life, uh, book of life, or have never been a part of the book of life. You know, those are the ones he's going to destroy. So, uh, and they fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. 
right? So he's going to come back. He's going to judge the two thirds. He's going to deliver the elect, and he's also going to destroy them that destroyed the earth. And who's the who's the one that destroyed this earth? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, and he continues to do it unto this day, right? He uh, the oil spills. Um, the climate change, all of these things that he has created through his uh, carbon footprint have uh, destroyed this planet, right? So much to where the kids are scared not that they won't have a planet left. So that's how you know this is the devil. Because he would, he would, he would take every... If it wasn't for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he would make sure that we never had anything left. No planet to live on, no water to drink. You got Google trying to take all the water out of North Carolina. We had 590 gallons, you greedy bastards. And they're just using it to cool. Uh, it's not even for drinking. They're using it to cool their uh, their interface systems for their uh, servers because they get hot and they need a way to cool them down. You could use water out the river. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to use fresh, clean drinking water. But he saw Edom as the devil. Therefore, he's deceiving the whole planet into believing whatever he wants them to believe. And it's all good, man, because the elect, we're not going to be deceived or dismayed at this nonsense that he pushes. We know better. Right? Because he's going to judge two thirds of the nation of Israel. He's going to deliver his elect. And then he's going to destroy Esau Edom off the face of the planet. And we cannot wait for that day to have our planet back, to have uh, clean water to drink clean air to breathe right without him spilling oil all in the, all in the ocean creating fires in the amazon this devil is, is slick man he's destroying this whole earth before your very eyes and most people can't even realize it this is revelations 20 and 12 and i saw the dead small and great stand before you how shy and the books were opened and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And that's, you know, if, if the Lord loves you, man, he knows your name and you're written in that book of life. And the dead were judged, right? Two thirds of the nation are going to be judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. So that's why we do what we do. We want our works to be pleasant unto the Lord. That's why we call unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai uh, to deliver his elect and judge these devils. You know, even David said, how long, oh Lord, will you let this devil be on this planet creating all this turmoil? You know, that's you're supposed to be praying for that. You're supposed to be praying for that daily to get delivered out of this place, man. This place ain't a place of rest. This isn't a place of uh, uh, beauty. This is a place of judgment, right? And we want delivery from that judgment, man. We want exemption from that judgment. We want that the wa on our forehead. You know, we don't want to implant a chip on our forehead. We want that the wa. We want to stand strong against Esau Edom and his atrocities that he's got uh, going all over the face of the planet. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, you know, he's not only just destroying the earth and the water, he's destroying uh, the Israelites. You know, that's his biggest, the biggest thing he wants to do is destroy all of Israel. You know, that's why you have Planned Parenthood everywhere. That's why you have uh, uh, the uh, the drugs being brought in from the CIA. So like you, you have the drugs being brought in from the CIA, right? Who was uh, destroying our people, you know, through uh, either pharmaceuticals or street drugs, right? You have a liquor store on every corner. They drop off guns in these neighborhoods and just leave them by the train load in L.A., in Chicago. That has happened, documented. So, hey, man, this, this devil's got to pay for what he's done. And the most high, he said he's going to destroy him that destroyed the earth. And we can't wait. You know what I'm saying? We cannot wait for that. That day is going to be the most glorious day when we can see the downfall of our enemy and see this planet rejuvenated them ICBM missiles, you know, it's time for a cleansing, man, and we just pray that we are like uh, choice gold and be delivered, you know, so with that, go ahead, go ahead and say uh, shalom to you, brothers, man.